So hello and welcome to uh, another one from Escoot uh, Electric Bikes. I've got a set of XTEC semi-hydraulic brakes to go on the uh, Escoot Natuno Pro. Now these have got a hydraulic plunger in them as far as I understand and you connect them to your original cables. They look pretty swanky and red as well so they're going to make the bike look really really smart but I'm just going to do a quick fit in for you and show you how they go together. They look very easy, so let's work it out. I've got no instructions, but let's see if we can get this to work. First of all, I think it's a five mil Allen key that we are going to need to slacken off the brake. So I'm gonna wind in um, the first part in the top, and I'll wind that all the way in to make sure it's loose. Then I'm gonna take the clamp off and basically undo it so I can take the, the wire out. So there's the wire out, and then this one then, just unscrew and take it all the way out of the thread. Okay, and then this will just slide on out, like that. So we've now got the cable free, and that's ready to go in the new one. We've now got to undo the Allen keys in the back. These are both five mil again. So there's the top one. And we will replace these screws with the new ones. And then there's one in the bottom as well, just to make sure that comes undone. All right, so I'm gonna take this out. There's screw one. You can see this had the blue tape on it as well, the blue Loctite stuff as well. And then we're gonna take that one out. And that's it. The caliper is off. So that's the caliper we're taking off. And that's the caliper we're putting on. So we're taking this little tiny uh, black one away and we're going to put this bigger red one on. And this one's got the hydraulics in it, so it should work a lot better than this one. Okay. So, undo these screws. And again, these are, these are new screws anyway, in the bottom of this. We don't need this clamp that's on here. So I'm going to use that new screw and I'm gonna use that new screw as well. Just undo them. Like that, and I'm gonna remove this clamp because we don't need this. That, that says 180, 160. And then I'm gonna just attach this. Take the plastic clip out between the pads, slide that back over the pads, and put the screw back in the top, like that. Don't they look good? and then the screw back in the bottom, like that. That is so easy, so, so easy. You can feel the thread as it goes in, it's quite a stiff thread going in, and that's because it's got that Loctite glue on it as it goes through. Okay, keep screwing that in all the way. And I think, just looking at that, you line them up so that they're in the center of the brakes. So I'm just gonna keep going until that's tight at the top. And then I'm gonna do the same at the bottom and then I'm just gonna check my wheel spins freely before I lock it up really tight. Tilt the bike up, get the front off the ground, just give it a spin. It's not that easy when it's on the floor, is it? So it's spinning okay, so we know that it's uh, centralized. I'm just gonna check my pads. I would say that he wants to go in a little bit. So I'm gonna push that in and I'll do the same the other side. So they're both pushed in. So my pads are sitting in the center. That's the only bit you gotta do is just you're lining up. The rest of it is just two screws out and two screws in. That looks pretty good to me. So, I'm 
Now we're going to nip these up tight. One, two, and again, one, two. I must say, these look really nice. Let's just hope they work as good as they look. Might need some fine adjusting afterwards. Right, so we now need to take our cable and take this end off now. What I haven't realized is we're gonna to have to pull this off to get this off. Not unless we can use the same one. So let's just have a look. Let's take that out of there. Okay, and let's take this. And what we'll do is we're gonna take the small thumb screw off of here if it comes off like that i'm going to leave the big one on i'm going to take the big thumb screw off of this one and i'm going to put that back on that one and that i'm going to put back into this one so instead of cutting the end of the wire off we're going to use the standard screw with a bigger locking pin on it, like that. So, poke that back through the hole, and we just screw that back into place. Okay, all the way down to the bottom, as long as it'll go. Okay, that's all the way down, and then we just need to slacken off the bottom clamp and poke our wire back through. And then when I do the back one, it's exactly the same as this one, except what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in nice and close and show you all the details. Same Allen key, five mil on the clamp. And all I'm doing really is I'm just pulling down on this. I'm not pulling it tight, I'm just pulling it down enough to grip. And I'm just going to nip that up, and that should now work off the levers, okay? Any adjustment will be on, on this part here. You'd wind it up if you need it tighter. You wind the thread up, and then do the locking tab up, and that makes it tighter, okay? So we're going to try that out in a moment. Wind it right down first, and we're going to see how well it works. And that's the front one done. Well, I've just been checking and there's one minor thing that I've done wrong. Um, I just wanted to show you this. Um, when I did this clamp up, I pulled the cable down, but what I didn't do is push this up. So you have to push this up and then lock it off. Okay, so that makes a big difference because I hadn't got any break whatsoever. So now, <laughs> now that should work. So I did want to make a point that you have to push the plunger up first before you nip up the thread and then you can do fine adjustments with that. So over to the rear brake now, same again, we're going to take this caliper off and put this one on. And you can see how easy it is, you've just got to undo this screw and that goes in this side, undo this clamp and that goes in this side and then you've got this shape here that's just in between. So it's exactly the same, one there, one there, they're just in a slightly different position, that's all. So first of all, make sure that everything's okay. We're just going to undo the clamp. And you can see as we undo it, it slides back. And that's what we've got to do when we put it back in, make sure it slides back in. So we we'll undo that until that comes out. So keep taking the screw out until the clamp's loose enough to remove the screw. And then we'll just put that back in again so we don't lose it. Okay, so that's that one out, and then we undo the other end here until that comes loose. And what we'll do is the same again, we're going to keep the, the threaded part that saves undoing the brakes. This one's a little bit more awkward because the cable's a bit tighter, so we may have to do this once it comes off. There we go, it's out. And then that goes through the hole, and we're going to do the same again. We're going to take this screw off, take the nut off, and keep that. And we're going to take this out of the end here. Like 
like that. And then we're going to take the large locking nut off of this end. And we're going to put that on that one there. All that saving is, all that's doing is it saves cutting this end piece off because this doesn't come off of there. And it just seems a shame to destroy it. Right, two five mil nuts, one on one side. And again, you break the seal on the locking nut. That's one. And there's the other one. And the caliper comes off. So we take our new caliper, take the plastic retainer clip out, and then that slots back over the top there. And we're just gonna, what we're gonna do with this one first, we're gonna slide this on here because we haven't got the room to be messing with it. So we're gonna slide that on first, all the way down. And then we're gonna put the brake pads over the top of the two calipers, like that. And then put the screws back in. Remember, new screws, new screws with a thread. So the first one's going to go in there, like that. And then the other new one is going to go in the bottom, like that. Find my Allen key, put it in the top, and do it up. Again, we're going to go all the way down. They've got washers on these screws as well. So we're going to make sure that the washers are in, and in place. And then we're going to screw this one down as far as it'll go. And then once it starts to bite, we'll just back it off and line up the pads to make sure it's in the center. So keep going until it's getting tighter. Once it starts to nip up, you can just line the disc up with the pads somewhere in the middle of the hole. Like that. And then do this end up as well. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to just going to nip this one up and then nip this one up. Have another check, make sure everything looks good. And then I'm going to put another turn on this one, make sure it's nice and tight and another turn on this one. Okay. They're now on and fitted. All we've got to do now is adjust the clamp on the top. So slacken the clamp. And get our cable back in. So a cable goes underneath the two little slots. And once it's back in, again, make sure your thread is in the end. And this is then pulled down. And when you pull it down, you just nip it up, and once it's done up tight, it should now be pulling the brake cable all the way through. But I'm just going to check that because the cable is a little bit loose then, so slacken it off, slacken it off, pull it back, pull my cable through, and once my cable's through, do it up. There we go. Perfect. And we've got a bit of tension and we just check the back brake to make sure that everything's working okay. So that's the installation instructions uh, best I can give you. Um, just make sure you've got a five mil Allen key. You've got two nuts with locking threads to go on and make sure they're tight. Uh, any adjustment you can do with the uh, screw 
and um, yeah just pull the clamp back lock them up nip them up tight and that's it installation done any questions if you want to know anything else let me know and uh, yeah i think they look really nice if nothing else let's hope they work as well cheers ciao for now bye bye